Hello, my name is Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage, and I'm the creator of the Self Storage Quick Start Academy. Our first course, How to Buy Your First Self Storage Facility, is out. You can go to the quickstartacademy.com or creating wealth through self storage.com, find out more information about it, or reach out to me. I'll send you a link. I have a grandson, seven years old, who played his second year of soccer. This year, he made the All Stars. He was proud, we were proud of him, but probably the best experience for him was the experience of the six habit, synergy. Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is a phenomenal methodology to grow your self-storage business inside of, and we've been exploring it over the past six weeks. This six habit called Synergy is exactly what he experienced on that all-star team. In other words, all of a sudden, season's over, he's quickly put on a team with people he used to play, with a new coach, new strategies. They had to quickly learn to trust each other, learn each other's strengths and weaknesses, and within two weeks and three practices, go out and play another team that had been put together. The team that has the best synergy is most likely the team that's going to win. Now, it's one thing to know about synergy. It's another thing to experience it. Jackson experienced it on that all-star team. As a business owner, as someone growing your self-storage business, this is a phenomenal tool, a phenomenal methodology that can grow your business exponentially. I have learned that to get big in any area of life, you really want to learn how to leverage the power of other people. I never cease to be amazed at the ownership that our employees and managers take. They own those facilities. They run those facilities so much better than I could or even the partners and owners could, and we're the ones that train them. See, as Stephen Covey says, what happens when you put a group of people together focused on an outcome, one plus one equals three. In other words, what gets created in a synergistic space is way bigger than any one person could do by themselves. It's a phenomenal power. I believe that you don't even have to create a space for synergy. I believe that synergy just naturally happens. All you, as a leader, you've got to be someone who just allows and doesn't block it from happening. Now, I know as an owner, you, you have caused it to get to where we are. You have literally created this company, and without you, we wouldn't be where we are. There wouldn't be a team of people trying to solve a problem. In other words, for us, for example, in 2016, I know that I am really good at income growth. I know that I have my eye on the income growth ball and our facilities are gonna grow their income. However, our real growth on the facilities we already own in 2016 is going to come from cost containment. In other words, putting the leveraging the power of all our facilities together to reduce the overall cost and employee productivity. I can't do that alone. We are going to put our team together and when we put this team together and we create a synergistic environment, one plus one is going to be way more than two. Now as a leader, it really takes something. To get out of the way and allow that to happen. Now I know, I know that you allow people to have views and express their views. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a fundamental shift in the way you view things. What kind of fundamental shift? Well, try this on. All views are valid and there is no right and wrong. Now just try that on for a minute. All views are valid, there is no right and wrong. So let's say, for example, that you're a Republican. Now I know everybody's an independent, but let's say you're an independent who leans to the right politically. Try taking on that Obamacare and the affordable health care is a valid approach to addressing the health care crisis in our country. Now it might not be the perfect solution. It might need a lot of work. But it is a valid approach to addressing what needs to be addressed. 
the concept that all people should have health care in our country. Try taking on it, that's a valid approach. Whether they can afford it or not, because they're here, they, they deserve health care. I'm not saying that's right. Try taking on that's a valid approach. It takes something, doesn't it? If you're a progressive, try taking this on. There really is a valid approach to cut costs. Spending by the government's totally out of control. Nothing is exempt, especially entitlements. You know, the, try taking on that the government's sole function should not be to solely help people who can't afford stuff themselves. That the government has way more important goals and responsibilities than that. And that the spending is what impedes our country right now from real growth, personally and economically. Try taking on that that's a valid approach. That takes something doesn't it? Here's what it takes. It takes up having a position that one is right and one is wrong. And for a human being, that's very hard to do. Try doing that with your family members, with your wife, with your kids next time there's an argument. Yes, it really takes something to do that. But as a business owner, that's where the juice is. The juice is in evolving and growing yourself so that your company and business can grow. Look, the team that plays together the best is going to win on the soccer field. The self-storage team that plays together the best is going to win. If who you are for yourself is wherever I am, synergy happens, you are going to win in the game of life. My name is Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage, and I'm the creator of the Storage World Analyzer, the number one financial analysis software tool in the self storage industry. Thank you.